Hello and welcome to VFX Tutored and Fusion 9. We offer three levels of tutorials to help with your Fusion 9 learning experience. Starter, Regular and Plus. This is the Plus level for those of you who are looking for advanced training on Chroma Keying in Fusion 9. This course is about understanding how an alpha channel works and how you can build it in Fusion 9. In this lesson, you will learn how an alpha channel works and how, the, how to start the project within Fusion 9. Don't forget that this is just a quick preview and if you want to start your learning experience, then click on the VFX Tutor link under this video and jump into the actual course. In majority of the shots that you're going to work with, the blue channel is always going to be the noisiest one. So let's switch back to the color. I can highlight this, go to edit, copy, and then click on the empty flow space, edit paste, I'm going to put it over here, right click, let's rename this, green, and then edit, paste again, because that node is already being saved in the memory of the computer, right click, rename, and as you've guessed, this is going to be the boolean for the blue channel, okay? And let's connect our footage to the extra two booleans nodes that we just copy and pasted. Going into the green, and the same thing that we did with the red, we're going to change all channels to read the green channel. And if I click drag into my right view, then we can see how the green channel is now the dominant channel. And the same thing is going to be with the blue. Blue, blue, and blue. If we go back to our composition, we see that we need to maximize the blue and the red. So in order to start maximizing the value of the red and the blue, I can go back to my select tool window and choose again the channel booleans, right click, rename, maximum, red and blue, click OK. I'm going to take the red, connect it to the background, going to take the blue, connect it to the foreground and in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the operation to maximum and the alpha is going to be changed to do nothing. The result that we see here on the right is the maximum result of the combined red and blue channels. Well this is great. Now what we need to do we need to take the value of those two channels from the maximum red and blue channel boolean and subtract it from the green. So for that, we need another channel booleans. Let's just break the connection. And we're going to right click, rename, and we're going to call it subtract green. We're going to take the green channel, connect it to this new node, and then this one is going to be connected as well. The green is going to be connected to the background, and the maximum value of blue and red is going to be connected to the foreground. And all we need to do is need to change the operation from copy in this new channel boolean to subtract. Now if we take a look at our result here we see that it's somewhat transparent because we haven't treated the alpha. So alpha do nothing. Now this starts to look a bit familiar isn't it? This starts to look like a build of an alpha channel and I'm going to choose the brightness and contrast and in here I'm going to work with the high value in order to try to get rid of the noises in the background. Of course when I do this and I'm trying to get a white background, I'm starting to lose a bit of the hair details from the talent. As you can see here, if I'm going to 100% and I take a look at the top of her head, you can see how I lose some hair details. But I do need to keep the background white and the silhouette as black. I also notice that I have a little bit of holes in my mat right now. So I'll try to treat that with another brightness and contrast down the road. But after this brightness and contrast, I'm going to call another channel booleans. And here the operation is going to be changed from copy to negative. Let's take a look at our result. Alpha do nothing. And now we get exactly an alpha channel. But this is just a black and white representation of the image that we started with, the footage. We're going to have to force this as the alpha channel or the cookie cutter into our footage. Okay, so that's it. That's your sneak peek of lesson one in the plus level. You now have the option to click on the video two tab to learn more about 
how to build the alpha channel or click below on the VFX Tutor link to begin your plus course right now. We've made each course affordable and we've also bundled them all together to create a lower price point as well. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel or hit the little bell button to get instant notifications when we upload a new series of tutorials for you. Thank you and goodbye.